Okay, what I have here is a uh, 60 litre bin and in it I'm going to be putting some molasses which is really thick treacly sugary syrup as you can see so I'm putting in about four litres maybe five litres of that I'm going to take it up to about 50 litres of water so that'll leave me a bit of room at the top and inside I'm going to be putting some some rusty items I've got some stack of crap here but uh, I've got a stack of horseshoes inside that they're going to go into it and we're going to see how well it works for rust conversion so I'll come back to this a bit later okay so I'm still all right so these are the horseshoes that are going to go okay so I've just topped it up with water it's about as far as I'm going to go with it you can still feel this a little bit down the bottom there so give it a good stir See that's mixed in quite well. Just keep the sticks away from the uh, donkeys and the horses because they love molasses. Okay, and um, we'll just drop some horseshoes in and see what happens. I'll leave that one partially out just to see what happens, just to see if it uh, makes a difference. All right, we'll come back in five days and check it out. One horseshoe that um, one horseshoe that didn't quite fit in, and I deliberately left it out so you can see the difference. So you can see this is where the molasses has worked, and if you look at the top here, you'll see a clear line where it's been exposed. Now it doesn't it doesn't get rid of everything. It certainly clears a lot of the rust out, but you'll see inside there where there's a a lot of crap inside there. It's not going to not going to penetrate through that, so that all needs to be cleaned out. Um, is it uh, is it worth the effort? Well, it really depends. Um, to do it with chemicals, going to be costly. You're going to need rubber gloves. At the moment, all I've got on is I feel like Paddington Bloody Bear at the moment because um, uh, it's. Not exactly the best of days outside, it's been raining so, and using the pressure cleaner is a, is a bit of uh, arduous work. But the second lot I've actually put back in, so I'm going to leave them in there for, a, I've given them a bit, of a bit of a scrub off to clear all the crap off. I'll put them in for another week and see what happens. I've got another one in this little tub down here um, that's mellowing along nicely. I'll let that go for another week as well. And then I've got uh, a couple more bundles over there to, to go in. So uh, we'll see what it's like in a couple more weeks.